Hello, you wonderful people. I want to make this video again because a lot of people are still asking me, is AI going to take our jobs? Is there hope for new developers getting hired? And I want to play a video for you from Primogen. And I'm only going to play a short snippet because I want to I want all of you who are looking to get into this career, regardless if you're going self-taught route, college degree, whatever path you take, don't give up. It is going to be hard, but it's possible. And anybody that's giving you that doom and gloom about AI, tell them to shut the up and just do your thing. I'm just upset. I'm upset because this is selling people on so many stuff. It's writing this crazy article that's making people feel absolutely horrible about the future. This article is actual gatekeeping. This article actually prevents the next class of people from coming in because it steals from them the worst thing to steal out of all things for people that are new, which is hope. And you should never steal hope from somebody. And that just, it just pisses me off. And that's what I think I'm feeling. And I just, I absolutely hate that. And I don't use the term gatekeeping because gatekeeping is largely a stupid term but in this case it's actual gatekeeping and i'm actually pissed off about this this is a terrible article you have opportunity you have hope get good at your craft find discover anything you like about it and dive deep into it and i guarantee you that if you push long enough push hard enough you will find not only a job you enjoy but you'll be able to have actually some sort of satisfaction in what you're doing so please don't buy these kind of articles they are absolutely horrible. Sorry, I got super, dude, I'm like super pissed right now. Dude, I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. I'm like, I'm like, I, I live it. Just to give you some context, that was from a reaction Primogen did to an article called The End of Junior Engineers. And this is where someone of respectable credentials wrote an article talking about how basically junior engineers is dead because of AI and all the things that it's capable of. And he went through the article saying how everything that a junior developer can do could be automatically done by AI. And this is obviously not true. There's many reasons why I don't agree with that article. And this is why I keep always telling you, if you want to get hired, there is opportunity for you. Is it going to be easy? Nothing is ever easy in life. And it doesn't matter what work you do. Some people tell me, hey, I want to, you know, not go into coding. I'm going to go into plumbing. You know what? They're both very good careers. You just have to decide what you like and do. And I'll show you another video today, which may basically burst your bubble. Anything worth doing is difficult. And I'll share it till the end of this video. So I want to show you at Catalina Perea 5212 comment. And I'm sorry if I mispronounce the name. I'm a junior developer still looking for a job. So not yet. I haven't looked at it from your perspective. I just find it useful that it comes to re repetitive stuff. What about like copy and paste? So you just discuss in code. And then we get another comment. Last year, I was listening to one of the John's lives with you. And you guys were speaking about a student who didn't really look sideways and just kept working on herself. Yeah, this was Katya. She basically kept working on learning, didn't really spend time doing anything else besides learning to code. And she got hired. And I like how Catalina Priya, like, I kind of took that to heart. So I'm just all in it, doing my best. I know I won't regret it when I, even if I never get hired. And that's the attitude, you just keep at it. I know I did my best and failed is better than never trying. And very well said. And he kept persevering. And I said, yes, you're still working in the industry. And I mean, getting your first job is the hardest thing. Two weeks ago, I get this comment from Catalina Priya, 5212. I'm sorry if I mispronounced the name, Jesus Christ. But Coding After 30 finally got hired. This is amazing. Huge congrats. Would love to hear about your journey. Look at the response here. I want to highlight this because this is the most important part. Thank you. Nothing much. As I said before, I took your advice to heart and just kept working on my goal. Not bothering what is happening in the outside world, I got hired as a junior Node.js developer. I think it was the right choice for me to also learn backend and do some full stack projects, even though I am junior. And that's well said. And the one thing that I want to point out here, took your advice to heart. It's not my advice when I say, just do the work and the rest will happen for you. If you spend your time thinking about other things that pull you apart from the actual studying, from actually building things, from 
going and trying to go to interviews, reaching out to people. Yes, you're not gonna get hired, but it's not my advice, it's just the way life works. So no matter what job you wanna do, you wanna be a developer, you wanna be a doctor, you wanna be a plumber, it just takes hard work and effort to get there. So comments like this, make me so excited and so happy. And this is why I keep doing this channel because this is the reality. People still are getting hired even in 2024 with all these folks talking about doom and gloom with AI, which don't believe the hype, it's not happening. And with that being said, I'm gonna show you one more video from a guy who talks from making it big as a plumber. And the point is, it's not the job that you're looking for, it's the process. If you wanna do plumbing, you wanna be a doctor, you wanna be developer, you have to put in the work. And so because I never took shortcuts and I was committed to the job and I didn't just fucking quit and I realized it was a long game. I realized that like, I'm not gonna be here in two years, I'm not gonna be here in three years. I knew from day one, it was 10 years minimum before I got to where I am now, and it took longer than that. And I'm smart as fuck, you know what I mean? So like, it, it's not a quick thing. The integrity and reputation, the way you do some things is the way you do all things, okay? I love the honesty in his presentation. He's like, listen, I committed to the work and it took me 10 years until I made it big. The good news, this journey of learning to code is not going to take you 10 years. I took the slow path, it took me four years. So I started learning to code around 35 and a half and I got my first job around 39 years old. And I know that people could do it quickly because I've seen it myself firsthand. When I say quickly, not in three to six months, but two years, two and a half years, three years of consistent studying, you got this. And if some people say it's not worth it, maybe you just don't want it bad enough. But if you take a look at plumbers, if you take a look at doctors, if you look at any other career, any path that leads to substantial income takes hard work. There are no shortcuts. So if you found this video motivational, you know, hit the thumbs up button. And you, if you think I'm completely out of my mind to tell you that hard work and perseverance is what gets you there, then the guy gets disliked the video. With that being said, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna get back to making some more coding videos. Of course, I'm gonna continue making this content where I share my true and honest opinion of what it takes to get a job. And hopefully I'll do some live streaming coding as well. I need to get back to it. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your time. I love you, you're all the best. And may you have all the best in your life and I'll see you later.